Do you know what a gilet is? Absolutely not. <laughs> they have good customer service though. That's the best good. customer service. I feel like you have to if you're expensive. You would think that, but if you've ever <laughs> lived in the UK, it's not true. Hey guys, welcome back to another Girl Gone London video. If you're new here, my name is Kaylin. I'm an American who's lived in the UK for almost 10 years, except today I am in Texas visiting another one of my best friends, Shelby. So you guys have been introduced to Emily and now you've been introduced to Shelby and I'm soon running out of friends. <laughs> so, um, so Shelby and I met in the first grade, but we were what, like six? Yeah. Seven. Six. So we've known each other for a long time. And also, um, she also lived in my neighborhood, which somebody commented that it was a very American thing to have your best friends like live on your street. And I was Ooh, like, I didn't interesting. Realize. I'm but neither. Yeah, so we would ride our bikes to each other's houses. Anyway, so Shelby is here joining me, and we are going to do another does this American know British words, phrases, and brands. So I think she'll do, she's visited the UK multiple times. Again, true friend. So she will probably know some of them, but I did put some that she might not know just so we can see what her guesses are. But before we jump into the video with her, I just wanted to say, I am launching slash have launched something called a Patreon, which I know some of you right now are like fast forward, don't even care, which is totally fine. But a Patreon is essentially a way to get an extra weekly video for me as long as, as well as other perks like monthly live streams, getting to vote on the content on my channel. Currently there is, I have a couple Patreons um, and I'll put the link down below, but currently there is one person who has signed up for the tier on getting to vote on what content they're gonna see. So he is basically in charge of the whole <laughs> channel right now. So if you'd like to join him um, and want to really be involved in kind of more, uh, intimate always sounds like a weird word in these <laughs> situations, uh, like a more close knit community, away from the YouTube trolls. Um, definitely check out that below. Let's move on to the video. So I have written down lots of, some are words, some are brands, some are various things. So do you think you're gonna do good on this? Do well. No. Is it do well or do good? Well. People always comment, they're like, <laughs> you can't even talk. And I'm like, yes, that is true because I went to an American public school. Thank you. <laughs> I went to the same public school for the record. Okay, so. Well, <laughs> okay. Do you think you're gonna do well? No. You don't think so? No. Do you watch any British TV shows or anything? I have watched The IT Crowd. I haven't even seen that. I watched the Premier League, which... Yes. Oh, we're going to get into a video on that. She's a bigger football fan than all of you, I swear. <laughs> That's all I got, though. Okay. All right. Well, let's start. So the first thing, I want you to guess what a lollipop lady is. Ooh. Um, I'm picturing a lady with like a street cart selling lollipops. Okay. That is incorrect. <laughs> it is a lady. It's a crossing guard. Why lollipop? Because they're holding up like a little lollipop looking sign thing. The stop sign? I don't think they <laughs> hold up a stop sign. I think they hold, they hold up like another type of little British, we're gonna put a picture in here <laughs> of what they hold up, but it's basically a crossing guard. Okay. Yeah. So, Interesting. I like where you were going with that, but <laughs> wrong. Okay, next one. Do you know what an allotment is? Like, how do I describe this? Yeah, exactly. um, Like a certain amount of something that you've been given? Yes, that's <laughs> it. Of what, what have you been given? Oh, is it only pertain to one thing? Okay, so it's, it's an area of something. Like land? Yes, and what do you do with the, that land? Build on it? <laughs> you grow things. It's like a- Like a like, farm? <laughs> it's like a public, it's like a, a gar like your own garden, oh. but it's not in your backyard. It's in like a public space. So it's like a community garden, but you have your own. So you have your own section of the community garden. Yes. Does the community get to use what you grow? No, it's yours. So not a community garden. <laughs> It's base. I. It's basically because you don't have enough room at your own property to okay. garden. Okay. So I think you're like renting from like the council okay. or city hall or whatever. So do you pay for it? Yes. Okay. You're renting the land, so you have to usually walk or drive to your allotment because it's it's not like in your near your house. Okay. 
but it's your stuff that you can consume. Interesting. Yes. So, but you were on the right track with. It's close. I think something. I get a point for that one. I think you do get a point. Now we're doing a point system. <laughs> one point. Let me write this down. <laughs> one point. Okay. Do you know what a brawly is? My best guess is a trolley. Trolley is another question. <laughs> a brawly is an umbrella. Oh, I think I did know that. I feel like it's one that, yeah, but we don't use that word no. in the US. So you've, you've only heard it like in the UK. Um, hence this quiz on things you hear in the UK. So a brawly is an umbrella. So that is not a point for you. Okay. I take it back. I don't like the point. <laughs> okay. You'll get all the points for being on the channel. And I know my viewers are going to leave wonderful comments. Can you comment how many points I get? Please? How many points does she get for agreeing to do this on the internet? A million, I think. Again, true friends I have here. Okay. Do you know what an airing cupboard is? It's in a house. I'll give you in a house. Yeah. Do you put things there to dry? Yes. <laughs> Context clues. Yes. But we don't call we, so it's, no. it's, it would typically be like your hot water heater tank would Ooh. be in the same cupboard, which is like a closet to us. Right. Um, and you would put stuff on shelves above it that will help it dry. Cause it's kind of like warm. Interesting. In so that, yeah, we should just end it here. <laughs> Done. Got it. Okay. Next one. Okay. So here's someone. So what do you think these British stores, like what type of British store or, um, or like brand is this? Okay. So what do you think they sell at B and Q? B and Q. Or the closest equivalent Amer like you can, right. What kind of store is it? Is it like a CVS? It's not. CVS is a, is a pharmacy here, a drugstore. B and Q is, I don't know if it stands for anything, Bar, like barbecue. <laughs> it's like a Home Depot. Oh. So that's where we go to buy like, um, hammers, paint, <laughs> nails, that kind of stuff. Okay. Yeah. Home renovation. Home renovation store. So that's B and Q. Okay. What kind of store? This is a little bit, have you heard of John Lewis? No. Okay. What kind of store is John Lewis? Like a male clothing store. There are male clothes there. There okay. are also other things. So half a point? <laughs> Why are you told the answer? <laughs> John Lewis is a department store. Okay. It's a pretty fancy department store where fancy posh people shop. Okay. It's like reassuringly expensive. Okay. That kind of, it's like, yeah. They have good customer service though. That's the best good. customer service. I feel like you have to if you're expensive. You would think that, but if you've ever lived in the UK, it's not true. Oh. These are American values over <laughs> here coming out. Um, okay, so so the next one is Debenhams. What kind of store is Debenhams? The only thing that comes to mind is denim. Denim? <laughs> denim. They sell denim there. Okay. So another half of one. It's another department store. Okay. Debenhams. Debenhams. Is this like a cheaper department store? A little bit, but not necessarily. It's not like cheap. Okay. But it's not as, I don't, I don't think it's as, um, posh as John Lewis. Okay. Is that what separates the two? It's just another department store. <laughs> okay. I don't really shop at Debenhams, <laughs> so I'm out of information about it. Okay. Fair. Our travel insurance is from Debenhams. They also do okay. other things. But yeah, it's a department store. Though they might also be going out of business. I can't remember the latest <laughs> news on this. So okay. maybe it was a, it used to be a department store. Okay. This is a, um, it's, a, it's not a store, but it's, it's a brand of like a plate, a type of place that you would go. Lloyd's. Lloyd's. A type of place you would go. So it's, it's an example would be like, it's not a gym, but like a gym is what I, like it's a, it's not a store. So is it like a, a grocery store? No. Okay. It is. Do you know any UK grocery stores? No. Okay. Um, Lloyd's is a bank. Okay. Lloyd's bank. Okay. Do you know Bar? you know Barclays, right? Yeah. Okay. I feel like that's the one Americans know the most. It, they also sponsored the premier league for so a while. She knows. So. <laughs> did Lloyd's not sponsor the premier league? No, they did not. Okay. Not that I'm aware Lloyd's of. is a bank. Okay. These are food brands. What okay. type of food are Walkers? Walkers, Walkers brand. 
just want to say waffles, but I feel like waffles aren't as common there. I wish we had a waffle brand in the UK. No. Walkers are crisps, like chips. Like, okay. I, they're basically identical to Lay's. And again, I didn't do my research if people yell at me all the time. They're like, you should know these things, but I, I don't think it's the same brand. Maybe it's Lay's, but in the UK. It's basically Lay's though. Do they have a bunch of different flavors? Yes. Oh, yes, they do. So that, so Walker's is like a crisp okay. brand chip. Okay, what about McVitie's? McVitie's. A type of food. I feel like I'm blanking on types of food now, like the pressure's on. McVitie's. Like crackers? Do McVitie's do crackers? Um, <laughs> so I know them from like what we would call cookies, what they would call biscuits, like the digestive, like dunking your tea. Kind okay. of like hard cookies. Again, I know people are gonna be like, it's not a cookie, but it is <laughs> to us. Um, snack food. Okay. They might have crackers. I feel like that's half a point. Let's look it up. <laughs> Everyone, hold please. Mick Vitties. I feel like this video more exposes how much I don't know about the UK <laughs> as opposed to what my friends don't know. I I'm still seeing biscuits on here. But the biscuits that they do are basically what we would think of as like, like a rich tea biscuit kind of tastes like a cracker. I'd say that looks like a cracker to me. Okay. So we're going to go full point on that. Yes. So you're up to 6.8 points. Perfect. <laughs> okay. Moving on to some sports. Do you know where, in what sport the term Henman Hill comes from? Cricket? No. Okay. Uh, tennis. It's a hill at Wimbledon. She clearly has not watched my Wimbledon <laughs> video, everybody. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm behind. She's only watched the hate comments one because <laughs> you guys leave some really good comments. So Henman Hill, so Tim Henman was a tennis player and there's a hill when you go into the grounds of Wimbledon that basically the people who don't have tickets for the real courts oh. will sit on this hill named and but then also it's it gets named after like the latest so then it was like murray mound when andy murray but like henman hill is a traditional name it's just a, it's a hill so how do they determine when someone's worthy of renaming it well emma just emma i don't know how to pronounce her last name because i haven't been watching but a british uh 18 year old just won the u.s open and so it's probably going to be like emma emma Oh, wait, no, it's her last name, which starts with an R. Radu, something Rit, Ridge. So okay. they'll just rename it for her. Because she just won the US Open. And it just stays named after her until someone else does something worthy? I think it's always traditionally Henman Hill, but then in like popular culture, okay. it becomes the next kind of person. Interesting. So Murray's definitely out now, unfortunately. <laughs> and Henman was from, is more, is ages ago, so. Okay. Right. Yeah. Henman Hill, tennis. Okay. What sport is the Six Nations tournament? The Six Nations. Rugby? Yes! I don't know anything else besides that. <laughs> I just know it's rugby. So ding, ding, ding. Okay, we've got a couple more. So this is just another word for a thing. So what would a trolley refer to in the UK? Well, now that's confusing. I thought. I know. <laughs> Um, a trolley. Like a bus? No. A trolley would be a shopping cart. So when you go to the British grocery store slash supermarket, you would get, they would say, oh, can you get me a trolley? And it's a shopping cart. Interesting. Interesting. Because here we say shopping cart. <laughs> and a trolley would be like a form of transportation. Right. Yes. You could, I guess, ride in a trolley in the UK too, but it would be different. <laughs> okay, we have two more. So this is going back to another, um, like, plate type of place that you would go. Okay. Um, you can buy things there, but it's not a store. So it's Bills. What type of place? It's a chain. If you're going to Bills, where are you going? To Bills. It's not a man at his house. <laughs> Um, so you buy things there. You can pay money for things there, but it's not a store. Okay. 
Is it like a restaurant? It is a restaurant. <laughs> Bill's is a chain of like, uh, I don't know if they consider it a cafe. I mean, it's, yeah, it's like a nice little restaurant and they've got good English breakfast. Okay. And there's chains of them like everywhere. So now you know, Bill's. Another point. And okay, you're up to 14.2 <laughs> based on my calculations. Shelby is the engineer over here, so whatever she says goes. Okay, last thing is, I'm gonna give you a hint. It's an item of clothing. Okay. Do you know what a gilet is? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If I, do I get another hint? Do I just have to guess? Okay. Yeah, just guess. A gilet. I mean, it already sounds pretentious. It does. <laughs> Just why I'm trying to think of the most pretentious clothing item that comes to mind, yeah. but that's not my forte, so. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with a nice fur coat. It's not a fur coat, but it does keep you warm and go on top. So I feel like- Half a point. Half a point. <laughs> okay, so is usually the best way I can describe it is what Americans would consider a vest, which is different than what British people consider a vest. So if you're British and I say vest, I'm talking about something that looks like a gilet. So it's like a puffy, like puffy, puffy vest, puffy vest that doesn't have arms, doesn't have sleeves, and you wear it to keep you warm in the winter. But I feel like it's a very pretentious kind of thing. <laughs> Can I you picture what I'm talking about? Yeah, I feel like people here have them. We just call them puffy vests. There you go. <laughs> so what's a vest in the UK? <laughs> I think, okay, before I look it up, I think when they say vest, they mean a long shirt that goes under your clothes, like a, like a long people. Someone said to me the other day, someone commented and they were like, I don't even think this girl lives and has lived in the UK <laughs> for 10 years, but he wasn't even joking. He was actually like, I think this is a scam. And I was like, Sir. I can attest. I have been to Sir. her house in the UK. I mean, what does vest mean? There are just certain things that I never really, I hear people say it, but I, okay. See, I did know. In British English, a vest is a piece of clothing that you wear on the top half of your body underneath a shirt, blouse, or dress in order to keep warm. Very confusing because vests here are sleeveless and they go over your clothes and they go over your clothes. They're the last piece of thing on top. I feel like we have those two, but I don't know what they're called because it doesn't get cold here. And true. <laughs> in American English, a piece of clothing like this is called an undershirt. Okay. But an undershirt doesn't like keep you warm. Like, so what does it do then? I, I don't know. We were, we were raised in Florida. <laughs> I don't know. Like, guys wear like undershirts under their like dress shirts. Yeah. But that's the only context I know of people actually wearing undershirts. I think this is for people who live in cold climates. So we clearly are missing. Cause yeah, you would never wear an undershirt here. It'd be a million degrees. Well, you would under your dress shirt, but yeah. not just like under, they wear it to keep themselves warm because it's like damp. Is it, cold. is it more than like a t-shirt or is it just for an extra layer? It's just like a t-shirt, but it's like a long sleeve under let's see if we can find some pictures but then this says a vest but it doesn't have sleeves maybe it doesn't need to have sleeves I, this is going to be the question of the video <laughs> because i always have a question can someone explain what Please a vest is explain what you would use a vest for in the uk i think it's just an undershirt does it have to have sleeves does it not no one has ever said like People always think that I should know everything about the UK, but my husband has never said anything about, is a vest only a term for females? Like a female undershirt? Is it anybody? No one that I associate with in the UK, we've never like talked about vests or wearing them. So I'm not sure. Okay. So now I feel like I get negative 14.2 <laughs> points and you ended up with 16.85 points. Love it. Out of... Plus however many are in the comments, so. Plus however many are in the comments. So we're gonna add those all up. Um, I think that you did pretty bad. <laughs> Badly. I did. Um, I did. I'm a little embarrassed. But that's okay, because I gave you some difficult ones. Like you would know what chips are in the UK. Yeah. Yeah. Fries. Like, yes, exactly. And like other easier ones would be, you would know, I know what a lorry is. She knows what a, how do you know what a lorry is? Because you said it when I came to visit you and I was like, what are you talking about? Oh, and you told me. Okay. 
Yeah. So these were actually like relatively difficult ones. Um, but you got 16.85 points. So, so you, you know what? I think I did pretty well, I think actually. You did pretty well. Um, so thank you guys for watching this video. Leave all of your comments down below. How do you think Shelby did? Congratulate her. Give her some good old British welcome. Please be nice. Um, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.